Today in the news, a new green team GPU was spotted, GPUs aren't the only thing disappearing from shelves, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. It's been a while since we've heard about a new GPU from the green team. The RTX 3060 was the last one and well, we've still got a GPU shortage. That didn't stop us though from hearing rumors about new GPUs to come. We were still hearing whistles of a RTX 3050 or 3050 Ti and also about the higher end RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti. Well, one of them just made an appearance, the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, calm down, we don't have all the hard specs just yet, but what we have is a shipment of MSI apparently directed to distribution centers. On that shipment, we can see a label that says GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Ventus 3X. It's real, and it's getting shipped to the US. Not only that, but this shipping crate also confirms that the RTX 3080 Ti will come with 12 gigabytes of memory, not the previously rumored 16 or 20 for that matter. To recap the rest of the rumored specification, the RTX 3080 Ti would feature uh, 80 SMs for a total of 10,240 CUDA cores. That's only two fewer SMs compared to the RTX 3090. It would have 12 gigabytes of G6X memory memory with speeds of 19 gigabits per second on the 384 bit bus. And of course, as discussed in a couple of past episodes, it might get mining limited for the consumer market. So what do you guys think? Would you buy one if it was in stock? Keep in mind that the, the price is probably going to be pretty high since MSRP is rumored to be around $1,000 to $1,200. And of course, there's the shortage. Speaking of shortages, it looks like graphics cards aren't the only thing that will be affected by mining, or should I say farming. A new coin is on the block and it's coming for your storage. The coin in question is called Chia Coin and it uses a proof of space and time for mining rather than a traditional proof of work model that coins such as Bitcoin and Ethereum have. Now, a lot more use proof of work, but these are the most popular. So how can this new-ish coin cause a shortage? Well, apparently over in China, people are currently snatching hard drives left and right to get their hands on some Chia coins. Thankfully, it seems like the issue is reserved for larger capacity drives from four to 18 terabytes. By the way, that includes SSDs. That's because farming, that's what they call it, uses plots that can range between 250-ish to 2,175 Gibby bytes. That's temporary data, but that's still a huge amount. And that's for one plot and you can have as many as you want. Anyways, I hope you guys secured your hard drive situations because it's going to be a rough year. Circling back to Nvidia, we got some pretty cool tech that they showcased on their YouTube channel. It's called Ganverse 3D, and it basically takes a single image of an object and pops it into a 3D model. Here, you can see it in action as it pops Kit, the car, into 3D. What really impresses me is that right after you create the car, you can just start to drive it, complete with blinkers and taillights. It also works on other types of photos, like uh, human faces, birds, and horses. Wow, that horse is thick. This reminds me of a similar plugin from Facebook. You essentially just took a picture of a person, run it through the plugin, and it would create a 3D model from it. I know Corridor Digital used it a couple of times in their videos, but it's pretty janky. Next up, while you're out there looking for a GPU, you might as well satisfy your gaming hunger another way. Tomorrow, we finally get game streaming on our PC. Now, sure, I know we already have other alternatives like GeForce Now and the ever popular Stadia, but the issue with these is that you can only either play pre-owned games or you have to buy new ones like on Stadia. Enter the limited beta of xCloud, which is launching tomorrow. Now, it's a beta, so it's only available in 22 countries, but it's a pretty solid list. For now, it will only be available to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members, which makes sense since, you know, you'll be able to play all the Game Pass games. It's going to be interesting to see how it fares compared to GeForce Now, both in performance, so maybe there's 120 Hz mode, but mostly in uh, image quality. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one. Yes, we have to wear masks at work now. Take care.